Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going over the three days of fasting. During the three day fast, literally I'm just gonna drink water and get some electrolytes and nothing else. I'm gonna try to just do what I normally do every day and see how it's going to affect my life. Wish me luck. So as you can see, I am still going to cook for these next three days. And we uh, defrosted this the other day, so that wasn't really smart of me. And that I was going to fast for the next few days. So uh, let's see how uh, strong my willpower is. Uh, it's only the first day, so I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. But we'll see, we'll see. And she's ready to go. Literally, it's just ground beef and bell peppers. And it does smell good, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, we good, we good. So I just finished cooking. I'm not gonna eat any of it, but I needed to cook it or else it would have expired. And so I had to make sure that I cooked it all, even though I'm not gonna be able to eat any of it. Uh, but I think since it was just the first day, it wasn't really hard to like be, oh, I'm so hungry, I want that. Nah, I think since it's just like the beginning and it's only like, uh, let me see, I think it's only like 10 o'clock. Yeah, since it's just 10 o'clock in the morning, I normally don't even eat breakfast anyway. I'm pretty used to uh, intermittent fasting. So it's not, it's not too bad for me. But I don't, I don't think I'm gonna cook for the rest of these three days. Just so I don't have temptation there for me. Cause that would probably be a stupid idea. Just so you know guys, I think I did forget to mention, I did start my fast yesterday, which was the 17th on a Monday at 7 p.m. That was my last meal. So I will be done with the three day fast on Thursday at 7 p.m. This is gonna be my only friend for these next three days. That's all that's gonna be inside of me. Unfortunately, so I actually just finished working for today. It's around 2 30. Just want to give you an update on how I'm feeling, and I actually feel fine. I think while I was working, I was starving just for a quick second, and then I completely just forgot about it, and my body just started eating itself, I think, or whatever that is. So I'm good. All right, just gotta hurry up and get this uh, video rendered, and then uh, I'm gonna send it to the boss man over here. Um, yeah, hopefully, he doesn't get mad at me at how uh, crappy I did this time. And hopefully he's not pissed that he's not that he's yellow. So normally after I'm done working, I will usually go and just eat or cook my food for today or the next day or the week. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna have to figure out other things to do to keep my mind occupied. But so far I pretty much fine. Alright guys, so I had my first test. So I was actually going to the store just to pick up like uh, some socks because I'm actually gonna go somewhere where it's really cold. Um, not too long from now. There's actually this food place I used to go to. Well, I go to still sometimes. It's called, La it's called Las Golendrinas. This cool Mexican place. Um, the food is really good but really really bad for you. And actually, one of the ladies there, when I used to work at uh, Planet Fitness, I would let her, you know, bring whoever she wanted. And I got really cool with her. She's like an older lady. She's a really nice lady. And every time I go, she always gives me a crap load of food and tries to fatten me up for free. I didn't actually plan on going there at all. She saw me in the parking lot when she was leaving. She's like, oh, Frank, you know, it's Taco Tuesday, bro. You want me to hook you up? I was like, oh, hey, blah, blah, blah. blah. I was like, uh, I can't actually eat um, anything. She's like, you're so skinny, what are you doing? And I'm just like, I'm just trying it, that's all. I just wanna try it, see what happens, but uh. That was my first test. Pass, so uh, normally I would go running around this time. It is around five o'clock, but since uh, I'm gonna be fasting, I probably shouldn't run too hard. Um, I figured I'm just gonna go for a stroll instead. So I'm just gonna walk, and uh, since I'm not running, I figured I'd take, uh, you know who. You already know who it is, look at him. He's going crazy right now, because I haven't grabbed him yet, but we'll be fine. Look who we have with us, Mr. Eager Beaver over here, bro. You gotta slow down, Mr. Brown, dang. Getting a little too excited, buddy. Good. Goodness gracious, we just started. I'm gonna get tired. Um, so far, uh, there's only been one time I've actually been hungry today. I wouldn't say that I was starving, but I was definitely hungry. It might have been just because I'm so used to like eating at a certain time, uh, used to have it or whatnot. Of course, that'd be a stupid helicopter right over us right when I started talking. Um, but after this, pretty much all I have left is maybe work a little bit more for tomorrow and then go to bed. So I guess we'll see once I get home and after I'm done walking. Maybe my my mood will change once I'm done walking. I totally forgot to take the thing off. Look at him. He's just washing everything in the distance. Too much walking, bro. You're too excited for this. If you guys are ever down here in Laguna Beach, it's a pretty nice little trail to walk. It's just called the Botanical Garden, so. We're literally not even that close away from like civil civilizations like over there, so. Just in case you wanted to come check out these lions. I mean, the tigers. You know what I always thought was kind of weird? Trying to talk to you. The camera, when there's a lot of people around you, is easily one of the scariest things that I've ever had to do. Watch out, Mr. Brown. People running. Don't, don't, don't do it. And he tangles me up, so it makes it even worse. And I'm very uncomfortable right now talking out loud, so that's why you can barely hear me. So we finally finished walking. Um, get out of the shot, Mr. Brown. Uh, so we finally finished walking. Get over there, buddy. And I don't feel any kind of hunger, so that's, that's good. I actually think walking made me less hungry, or like any food pains that I did have are gone now. So it's 7 o'clock. I have gone exactly 24 hours 
without eating. And I will say I did get this little weird burning sensation. That might just be uh, acid reflex. So hopefully it's nothing too crazy or minor. We'll find out what happens tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's the beginning of day two. I actually woke up not hungry at all. I did weigh myself, and I'm going to weigh myself every day since the beginning. I just forgot to say that. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys that at the end so you can see the change in weight, I guess, that occurred, if there is any. Yeah, no, so far so good. Um, I'm probably just going to work today again and then see how I feel later. It's today two, though. Wish me luck. Hey, dinner there, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it's around 4 o'clock, and I've had... I've stopped working like three times because my stomach will start to like, it's just like a like squeezing pain, I think I would say. And I would definitely suggest if you try this, do not go on any type of social medias because people be posting so much food and you're just like, why? I think that's probably the worst part. I'm trying to distract myself, but I just keep on working. But then I'll distract myself from working by going on social media, there's just food everywhere. Now I'm just like craving all this stuff. And my mind is like that when that third day is over, I have like five different things I want to eat. Hey right, guys, so it's been another hour. Still haven't finished working. <laughs> Sucks. They come and go, but I get like these huge cramps in my stomach. Huge like growing pains like in high school or something. I'm also very exhausted. I think that um, since I'm not eating anything, I am definitely more tired. I've been yawning. Woo! I've been yawning profusely, probably because I have no energy. So I guess that's a real thing. I know I've saw that on the internet. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was for real, but uh, it, it definitely is real. It, it's hidden. Struggle is real. All right, guys, so actually, um, there was one point that I couldn't keep working because I was just too exhausted and my stomach started hurting so badly that I started getting like these stomach pain to the point where I just kind of curled up for a second and then I passed out. So I knocked out for like two hours, probably because I have no energy and it hurt bad. Yeah, but it got really, really, really warm and then I got really cold. Like I just. Probably because there's no blood flowing very much because I guess my body's trying to conserve energy. I don't even know. But yeah, it was a very, very uh, scary and interesting experience. But my heart rate didn't go up or anything like that because I know I've read online where some people's heart rate will go up and their blood pressure will go up or something. I don't even know. But mine was perfectly fine. I just got really, really tired, really sleepy. Stomach pains came for a second. Passed out. When I woke up, I was back to normal. I was okay. And um, even now, 9 o'clock, um, it's technically past my 48 hours. I'm going to drink some more water and then just try to go to bed. And hopefully make it to 7 p.m. tomorrow because then that's when I can finally eat something. We'll see. Today is my final day to fast. Last night was hell. I didn't get any sleep. I woke up at least five times randomly throughout the night, I believe. It was easily the hardest night to try to go to bed. The first night wasn't that bad. The second night was just unbearable. Like, all I could think about was food, and that is definitely what you should not try to do. While I was laying there tossing and turning all night, you get pure pain in your stomach, and it won't let you sleep. So that's why I could not sleep. Also, there was a point where my stomach started to hurt so much that it felt like I wanted to throw up. And I don't I don't know if that's normal for some of you who have been there and fasted before. But literally I can I can it's all I've only been drinking water, so I don't know what I would be throwing up, but it literally felt like it wanted to come back out and I was just like, oh, maybe I've gone a little too far. <laughs> so I actually did want to show you guys on my Fitbit actually. It literally will track because I wear my Fitbit all three days. Calories I burned every day. It's also gonna track all the sleep I've done, so that's why I wanted to show you guys right now. So if you look, this is the first night I fasted. I went one whole day, and then the night, and then I went to the next night. As you can see, I slept from 12 in the morning all the way up till 10:30 the next morning, which is a good amount of sleep if you think about it. That's exactly equivalent to what is it? Uh, nine hours and five minutes. It even says I have a good sleep, 88. Uh, this is not too bad though. I mean, for a score that's 88, that's pretty good. Now let me go ahead and show you. Last night, you also looked that same day. I actually got another hour and 23 minutes. Remember when I was telling you I was getting really tired and I could not concentrate? I want to sleep from 4 30 p.m. to 6 10. So that's about an hour, maybe a little over an hour, hour 30 minutes. Yeah, I guess they tracked that. I didn't realize they tracked it, so that's cool. But now let's go on to last night. Last night was just. It was the worst, so let me show you. As you can see, there's a lot of red up in the beginning. Like literally in and out. I just could not go to sleep. If you look at that very beginning from 9 to like. 10 o 11 o'clock ish i just toss and turn pure pain pure stomach pain nothing different that is all that you see right there if you look at that my sleep is fair so it's not even good it was bad even though i got seven hours and 34 minutes of sleep 
it was still fair. So, you know, people say, oh yeah, you need at least seven hours of sleep. I got plenty of that. It's just, I don't know if my body was just eating it. It probably was eating itself. That's probably why. I also did weigh myself this morning. Um, I'll show you guys the weights at the end, just cause I figured you guys want to see how much did I lose during these three days. Now we're on to day three. Let me go ahead and just get through this day. Technically, once it hits 7 p.m., I've gone three whole days. I'm actually back from the dentist's office. So far, the stomach pains, I haven't had any. I'm slowly starting to feel them kind of come. So all this morning, I've been completely fine. Um, even right now, I'm still not really that hungry, shockingly. After last night, it was just like, I'm gonna die today. Probably just gonna work for the rest of the day. I'm actually working for a good amount of time today. I have to edit and I have to film, so. Um, hopefully that makes time go by faster so we can get to the end of this day so we can get some food on, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright guys, so at the end of the day, after the three days of fasting, um, I went from 155 pounds to 147 point something. I can't remember. I can easily say that was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. On a scale from 1 to 10, it was mostly teeter-tottering over like six and seven but then that second day like after like four o'clock all the way till i went to bed it was easily like an eight nine where i'm just like i don't want to do this anymore i will say if this is something you're going to try to do you got to make sure you're mentally prepared because it is not easy where everyone's so used to just eating even if it's just a habit that it changes your your day it's kind of weird their day was actually not as bad just wanted to say that um I woke up not hungry, I did everything pretty much okay, I worked without any complaints, and at the end of the day, it wasn't that bad at all actually. Just the third day though. The other days, the second day was the worst, first day wasn't too bad either. Alright guys, so one of the last things I want to show you guys was my calorie burned during those three days. Um, so we can go ahead and start on Tuesday, I burned 2,602 calories, that was the day where I actually went for a little walk. I didn't run too much. I didn't run at all actually because I just was figured it's my first day, I shouldn't try to kill myself. Then you go to the next day, burn 1900 calories. Um, that day was the second day, which was the worst day where I just, I could not focus. It was like four days, four to four days, four hours of just pure pain after like four o'clock. So yeah, I burned 1900 calories. And then the last day I burned 2500 calories. I don't even, oh, you know what? That's right. I was like, I'm trying to think like, why did I burn so many calories? Um, I think that day, I mean, I was just moving around a lot. I went to the dentist that day, which is probably in that middle area. I also went to go get refills for our water tanks that same day. Working and filming. So that might have had something to do with it. So that's, see, that's going to be 2602, 1912, and 2502 combined. And that equals, I don't know the number, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it up for you. Calories. So that's it guys, that's how it was. Me three days of starving myself, and those are the results of what happened. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this. If you have ever done a fast, let me know how your experience was. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.